Welcome back. Russia's war in Ukraine continues with no end in sight. Nearly a month into the conflict, we're now seeing Russians targeting and killing civilians. But in tonight's positive story, a West Michigan teen wants to do what he can to save lives. Scripps reporter Matt Wikos has more on the tools that the teen is hoping will make a difference in this conflict. Maxwell's 3D printer is up in his room with all the supplies he needs. I wanted to get the 3D printer so that I could, so that I could build things with them. After a while, Maxwell started making random objects. Like this is Dwayne Johnson's head on an octopus. It's a octopus, <laughs> And I just printed a bunch of random things and I got to the point where I wasn't really using it. It was to the point where it was collecting dust. He got the dust off and got to work. After seeing the horrifying images out of Ukraine, Maxwell was looking to make a difference. Like I had the opportunity to help. I don't, there's no reason why I shouldn't. So if I can help, why don't help, you know? Over 14 hours, Maxwell's printer is building three separate pieces. The pieces fit together to make a tourniquet. The buckle goes on the back to tighten it up, and then what you do is you just tighten, you push, you turn, you turn, you turn to tighten, and then you just, it just snaps in right there. Mm -hmm. And then that helps stop blood flow. Maxwell is one of several around West Michigan building them. Charles Elwood is the organizer for this effort. He says he has 37 people working with 60 printers to make more kits. I never thought I was going to use it for anything like that would actually help people, you know, but I can. 